today I want to show you how to sew the sleeves. And this is the last part of this sew along. Place the two pattern pieces from the sleeve on top of each other with right sides together. There is a notch approximately 10 cm from the bottom and you have to stop your seam there. So start by sewing with 1 cm and backstitch um, at the notch. Now you have to press the seam and this is the, the sleeve slit and you have to make a double fold with 0.5, 0.5 cm exactly the same as the hemline. Press and then sew. You may make a top stitch just at the edge of the fold all the way around in the slit. Now it's time for the cuff. On the cuff you have some notches and the first notch um, marks where you are going to place your sleeve on the cuff. So the cuff has to be placed with the right side to the wrong side of the sleeve and then match all notches to the sleeve. Sew with one centimeter all the way round. Now fold the cuff um, out like this, and then you have to fold the cuff with right sides together, match up the corners, and give it a pin. The trick is to start your next stitch exactly where you ended the last one. So make a back stitch, sew with one centimeter, turn the cuff and finish the stitch at the fold. Do exactly the same at the other um, side of the cuff. Now you are going to turn the corners. If I can avoid cutting corners I do that because I think they going to be so bulky. Um, but turn your corners, if it's difficult, use a scissor or a knitting uh, needle to uh, make the corners sharp. And then press. Just turn your sleeve, because then it will be much easier to press the cuff. Press the seam allowance um, down. And then make a one centimeter fold at the top of the cuff and then press. It's important that um, the top of the cuff is just overlapping the, the cuff stitch you made earlier. And then I turn the sleeve again inside out because then I find it much easier to sew the cuff. And then I make a top stitch, just um, about two millimeter from edge all the way round. And of course I back stitch. And now your cuff should look like this on the back side, and like this on the front. This is the back seam, this is the shoulder notch, and this is the underarm notch. And now you're going to place the sleeve into the dress. The underarm notch has to match on top of the side seam of the dress. And give it a pin. And the notch on top of the sleeve, it has to match at the shoulder seam. There are no ease under the arm. 
So just match up the fabric um, on the front side and on the back side under the arm. And then you have to make the ease at the shoulder. Um, and what you do is just like press the fabric together but only on the sleeve. Do it on both the back side and the front side. The most ease on the back side. So you do it like, like this. And put your pin in one centimeter from the raw edge because then it will be much easier when you are going to sew. I always place the work with the dress at the top and the sleeve at the bottom because then I find it much easier to sew in the sleeve. And then I take my left hand and put it inside um, between the layers because then I can use my left hand to control the ease and my right hand to control the work. And then I just sew. I always remove my pins just um, before I sew over them. And if I don't do that, somehow I always get the small folds right there. And then just sew all the way around. And now I overlock the sleeve seam all the way around, all layers together. And now it's time to make the final details. I like to make this a French cuff. So I fold it like this and then I sew it together. Um, you can make buttonholes, but I'm not a fan of buttonholes, so I do it like this. I place a button on each side of the cuff. I have made some fabric covered buttons but you can also use a regular button. And then I just sew them on both sides. To add one more detail, I also sew a button on the pocket flap. I also make some invisible stitches um, so I sew the front facing to the dress so it don't flap out when you are using the dress and then attach the facing to the shoulder seam. 